Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. CAE first to develop flight training app for Apple Vision Pro. Skywings takes delivery of two Diamond DA-40NG aircraft. True full flight sim delivered to Queensland Medical Service. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for over 50 years. Find out why pilots love King teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. CAE first to develop flight training app for Apple Vision Pro. Flight training company CAE has become the first to develop an immersive flight training application for the Apple Vision Pro virtual reality headset. CAE demonstrated it at the 2024 NBAA base event in Las Vegas, Nevada. The app uses spatial computing to bring true-to-life accuracy to cockpit interactions that allow pilots to remotely complete training activities that presently are only available in training centers. Integrating CAE's training system and curriculum into the app will accelerate and increase the effectiveness of training safely, and pilots can train anytime from any place. By programming for any aircraft type, the CAE app for Apple Vision Pro will be a solid complement to existing CAE training for business and commercial pilots. Emmanuel Levitt, CAE's Chief Technology and Product Officer, explained, quote, This Apple Vision Pro app developed by CAE will allow pilots to familiarize themselves with the flight deck, practice critical procedures, and develop muscle memory for key functions from anywhere. It will allow pilots to engage with realistic flight deck environments to further ensure they are ready for their full flight sim sessions and become even better prepared for any situation." End quote. After the break, Girls in Aviation Day reaches record attendance. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Girls in Aviation Day reaches record attendance. The 10th annual Girls in Aviation Day event reached record attendance numbers with over 33,000 worldwide participants. Members from 194 Women in Aviation International chapters organized and held their own GIAD event on September 21st. 59 of these were overseas across 33 different countries, with the other 135 in the U.S. and various U.S. territories. The annual event was designed as part of Women in Aviation International's plan to inspire girls to pursue aviation and aerospace careers. All are invited to participate, though activities are geared towards girls ages 8 to 17. Spirit Airlines cuts jobs and sells jets amid financial struggles. With financial losses looming, Spirit Airlines has announced plans to sell several jets and make significant cuts to its workforce. The carrier has already finalized a half-billion-dollar sale with GA Telesis and aims to start job cuts in early 2025. On October 24th, Spirit published a regulatory filing that identified nearly $80 million in potential cost reductions. The carrier noted that most of this will stem from a reduction in workforce. Spirit has yet to explain how many of its employees will be dropped or from what roles. Air Transat pilots congratulate Air Canada pilots. Captain Bradley Small, chairman of the Air Transat Master Executive Council of ALPA, congratulated the pilots of Air Canada on the ratification of the Air Canada Pilot Collective Agreement. Captain Small stated, quote, 
On behalf of more than 700 Air Transat pilots, congratulations to Air Canada pilots on securing one of the largest labour agreements in Canadian aviation history. This historical agreement raises the bar for pilots in Canada and establishes a benchmark for pattern bargaining, with a particular focus on compensation and quality of life across the industry." End quote. Third annual Future Takes Flight Scholarship recipient named Sheltair and Avfuel announced the six recipients of the 2024 Sheltair and Avfuel Future Takes Flight Scholarships. The third annual scholarship provides a total of $30,000 in funds for education, distributed as six $5,000 rewards across three categories, learning to fly, aviation technician, and continuing education. The 2024 recipients are Aaron Borgana of Fort Collins, Colorado for aviation technician, Cynthia Encinas from Hearst, Texas for learning to fly, Alyssa McCauley of Sanford, Florida for continuing education, Juan Pablo Prada Londano from Keller, Texas for continuing education, Mikkel Tu from Ladson, South Carolina for learning to fly, and Aaron Walling of New Carlisle, Ohio for aviation technician. And that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Skywings takes delivery of two Diamond DA-40NG aircraft. Skywings Flight Training announced it has taken delivery of two Diamond DA-40NG aircraft at Diamond Aircraft's headquarters in Neustadt, Austria. The aircraft will be used to train future airline pilots. The aircrafts are the first two of four that Skywings will receive this year, bringing their fleet total to eight Diamond aircraft. The four most recent were ordered along with a DA-40-42 FNPT-2 simulator at the European Airline Training Symposium in Cascais, Portugal in November 2023. The simulator is installed at the Antwerp training facility. Skywings is based at the Antwerp airport in Belgium and also has a training base in Alicante, Spain. Peter Brentigem, chief commercial officer at Skywings, explained, quote, We have chosen to operate a full diamond fleet because of their unmatched reliability and cutting-edge technology, which is critical for training the next generation of airline pilots. The single-engine, four-place diamond DA-40NG is powered by an Austro-engine AE300 turbocharged diesel engine with 168 horsepower and an EECU single-lever control system, running on Jet A1 for cost-effectiveness and sustainability. After the break, true full-flight sim delivered to Queensland Medical Service. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. True Full Flight Sim delivered to Queensland's Medical Service. Textron affiliate True Simulation and Training announced that Australia's Civil Aviation Safety Authority has approved Level D certification of the Full Flight Sim to the Royal Flying Doctor Service Queensland Section. The RFDS Queensland Section has a large Beechcraft King Air fleet, and the simulator is reconfigurable to support training for the entire fleet of its B200 and B300 aircraft. The simulator is the first of its kind in Australia and is housed in Bundaberg in a purpose-built facility next to the RFDS base. 
The fleet of King Airs is utilized for aeromedical transports as well as providing health care services to regional, rural and remote areas of Queensland. The simulator will be used for training pilots and crew to assist in the health care mission. The simulator is equipped with the Collins Proline Fusion Avionics and incorporates True's Real Field Control Loading System, which produces a highly realistic flight experience. It creates an immersive training environment using a visual system with high-def projectors on a 200 by 40 degree display. All four King Air variants available use the True designed and developed aircraft systems and aerodynamic software. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.